Why do I support indefinite life extension? All right, there are three basic philosophies of personal identity. First of all, there is closed individualism. This is the common sense view. 99% of people actually hold this view implicitly. This is the idea that you start existing when you're born and you stop existing when you die. Then you have empty individualism. This is the notion that you only exist as this infinitesimal time slice uh, in space and in the multiverse. You only exist right now. The passage of time is an illusion. And you actually, like an individual person, ends up being many, many individuals throughout their lifetime. There is, finally, uh, open individualism, which is the belief that we are all one consciousness experiencing itself subjectively. That somehow, actually, identity carriers, such as memory or personality, or like what you have experienced, don't actually conform who you really are at the fundamental level of who is experiencing your, your consciousness. Now, um, a lot of scientists are empty individualists, a lot of mystics are open individualists, most people are closed individualists, and I get the impression that actually the motivations behind indefinite life extension tend to be rather closed individualistic. These are people who think or perceive death as a fundamental threat to their identity and their continu continued existence. But why would an empty individualist or an open individualist care about indefinite life extension? For the record, I think empty or open individualism are, are a lot more likely than closed individualism. And I still support indefinite life extension. Why, do you, why is that? The reason is that the state space of consciousness is extraordinarily large. And I don't think within one lifetime you can actually explore it to any meaningful degree. Likewise, understanding the universe and solving the big philosophical questions may require a accumulation of so many patterns in your brain and in your consciousness and going through them uh, systematically with a society of other super intelligent beings. All of that cannot happen in just one human lifetime. If we actually want to disclose this true state space of consciousness, we will actually require to experience many lifetimes. It's going to be a, a, a very significant project. In the future, we will realize that actually a single human lifetime is really short. You can't actually understand a lot in that in that space. All right.